Welcome to the first of a 13 part series for computer terms for beginners. Today we'll be starting out with our first term, computers. Or what constitutes the term of a computer. We can't proceed any further beyond this without having to first explain what a computer is. A computer, in essence, is an electronic device for storing, processing, and calculating data, typically in binary form, which is a series of zeros and ones. A computer can range anywhere from a desktop or a tower type of device to a phone or even a calculator which is also considered a computer. To put things into perspective, here is the world's very first computer, and NIAC is the world's first computer built in 1946. E-N-I-A-C, which stood for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. And NIAC took up a large room and required several people to operate. She operated within a vacuum of tubes and could output 5,000 addition problems in one second. The computer used 170,000 watts of power, weighed 28 tons, had 17,840 vacuum tubes, and it filled a large building and cost $487,000. By today's standards, that is about $10 million. It took several people to run it. It was basically a larger, super fast calculator with some input features via punch cards. You think you have computer problems today? With 17,480 tubes, ENIAC required constant maintenance as there was always a tube going out. On average, one would go out about every other day. It took about 15 minutes to locate the bad tube. Its longest continuous period of operation without failure was 116 hours. Aside from the 17,480 vacuum tubes, ENIAC had 7,200 crystal diodes, 1,500 relays, 70,000 resistors, 10,000 capacitors, and around 5 million hand soldered joints. The typical computer you use today is of course tens of thousands times faster. That is the first term for computer for terms for beginners for today's episode. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we will be going over the terminology for ROM. Thank you for joining me on today's episode and I'll see you next week. Oh,